What's up everyone? It's Miles Jury. I'm a longtime professional mixed martial arts fighter and a longtime real estate investor. Today, got an awesome topic for everyone. Real Estate 101. How to invest in real estate. Let's get to it. We're going to be talking a lot about two strategies on how to invest in real estate. I'm going to give you guys two great strategies, and I'm also going to give you my own personal strategy that I love to invest in real estate with. So you might be wondering, you know, how can I get a better return on my money? It's sitting in the bank account, and I, you know, I'm collecting one, maybe one and a half, two percent, and I want to get more money. Or you might be thinking about just investing in real estate, but you don't know how, you don't know where to start. If so, this video is for you. I always recommend that before you even start investing in real estate, the first thing you should do is start to educate yourself. You need to, to learn, you need to read books, watch YouTube videos like you're doing now. So props to you. Getting your financial intelligence up. That's what a lot of this channel is about. And today we're going to touch on that. Before we get into the first strategy on how to invest in real estate, please make sure you smash that like button and you subscribe. The first way to invest is what you call a buy and hold investor. What this investor does is they buy a property, they hold on to it, they rent it out, and they really don't ever sell it. They collect money each month over and over again for months and for years. That's how this investor makes their money. So for example, I buy a property and, I, and it rents for $1,000 a month. Now each month, you have certain bills or expenses that come along with it. You have taxes, you have insurance, you have a little bit of maintenance, maybe some property management. So for this example, let's say it rents for $1,000 a month and there's expenses at $500 a month. So I take the rent, I minus the expenses, and I'm left over with $500. Now that is what you call cash flow. That's the money I make that month. That month, it, it, that $500 that comes in, it comes in the next month and the next month and the next month. Now the second strategy in investing in real estate is a buy and a sell. Now this is also known as flipping. So what this investor will do is they will buy a property at a certain price and they might throw a little bit of uh, paint on it, a little bit of carpet, and then they put it back on the market for sale at a higher price and they make their money when they sell it at that higher price. So for example, let's say I bought a property for $100,000. Now, I threw a little paint on it, I fixed up the carpet, maybe threw some new appliances in there. I put $5,000 into fixing it up. So all in, on the $100,000 that I paid for it and the $5,000 in repairs, I got $105,000 into it. Now let's say I take that property and I put it up for sale and I sell it for $150,000. Now I make $45,000 in profit. 150 minus the 105 that I put into it, $45,000 in profit. So this is a way the flipper makes money. He buys low, sells high. Now there's, there's pros and there's cons to each one of these strategies. The, the first strategy of buy and hold, the pro to it is that there's really no uh, risk in the market. If the, the market goes up, the house price goes up or down, it doesn't matter, you still collect your rent every month. So there's really not any risk to that. The only con to it is it's a little bit slower of a process to get richer and wealthier because you're collecting a little bit each month instead of one big lump sum like you would if you were flipping. Now flipping on the other hand, the pro to it is you get to collect a big lump sum all at once if it's done right. You sell the property, you get a big, a big chunk of money right there if you did it right. Now the con to it is this, this strategy is affected by the market. So if you buy a property and the market tanks like it did in 2007, you could possibly be sitting with a property that's worth a lot less than when you bought it and maybe nobody will even want to buy it, buy it again. So you might be sitting with a property, lose a bunch of money on it and not be able to sell it. That's the con to it. So the, the buy and hold is not affected by the value of the property going up and down, which is nice. And 
the flipping is though. Those are the two strategies that are most common. There's a lot of different ways to invest in real estate. You got reach, you got wholesaling, you got even being like a realtor, but a most of, if not all of these ways to invest in real estate fall into these two categories. Again, buy and hold and a, a buy and sell or a flipper. Now, what's my favorite way to invest in real estate? I like to buy a property and I like to automatically get it at a five to a 10% discount immediately. I always, when I buy this property, the next thing I do is I always make sure it cash flows immediately. And then the last thing I like to do with this property is I like to buy in an area that I see going up a little bit over time. So again, I like to buy and get a discount right off tops. I like to have my property cash flow immediately. What I mean by that is each month, immediately it needs to be paying me money. When I run the, the numbers on it and I come to how much I'm gonna be making each month, if it's in the negative, if I'm not making money each month, I walk away from the deal and I go to the next one. And lastly, I like to buy in areas that I believe are gonna be going up. I, don't, I won't buy in an area that's declining, right? I want it to be going up a little bit steadily over time. And to me, this is like the icing on the cake, the cherry on the cake. That value going up over time, I don't count on it, but it's extra for me and I definitely look for it. So to recap, strategy number one, buy and hold. Strategy number two, buy and resell or flip. Hey everyone, if you guys got any value out of this video, if you learned anything, please don't forget, smash that like button and subscribe. I'm gonna keep bringing great content. I'm Miles Jury, and until next time.